Hello, my friends. This is your friendly neighborhood Luster Knight, and I'm here today to give you a guide through my Minecraft multiplayer server world, which I have named Luster Bithia. That name was given to me by a friend a long time ago when I was playing Yo, and I always liked that name, so I finally created a world. So, this, in the first world I created, I went through several different maps, but none of them up till this one I thought would make a good world to start with, but once I get people on my server, I will take a poll and see if we stick with this world or generate an entirely new map. So here we go. This is the dock I just created recently using glowstone as lamppost very neat and as we walk through here's a pathway I made and this is Lusterbithia Welcome Center this is the very first structure I have made into this world and inside I made a there's a painting with a creeper peeking through a window. Some starter items. In this chest, we have a compass and a clock, which tells you the time of day, and the compass tells you which way spawn is wherever you are in the world. And in here we have some starter items, an iron pickaxe shovel, axe, and sword. By the time this video is released I will have monsters enabled so starting out it'd be pretty handy to have. But once all these items are taken and used up it'll be up to the individual to craft their own items. Any signs this gives the descriptions of the items. Small chest, large chest for storage, and here are two furnaces. They can be used for smelting or for cooking. And here is a workbench. You can craft your items that you won't be able to normally build in your starter crafting, which is only a four square craft, which can be used to make workbench or torches something small this is your on character storage area this is the items you can carry around with you and these are your um, slots used to put items that you'll be using on you which shows here at the bottom as well so you can switch to items which can be which I recently found out is you can use your scroll wheel to select the boxes or you can use the number keys which I've started using so let's go look at Mustabithia Mining Co. Go up the stairs, and then we look up into the sky. This is a locator flag, which can be seen pretty far if you have far rendering enabled. But I've done some exploring, and pretty much this area is an island. So, go off the island, you might not find this place again. But that's the fun part. Anywho, this is a bunkhouse I made for anybody who starts playing and needs a place to stay in the beginning. We have some beds, which can be used to instantly make it daytime when it's night, but everybody in the server has to be in the bed at the same time for it to work. 
So if you're alone and there's no one else on and you can get in bed, it'll work. But if there's more than one person, you all have to be in the bed at the same time. And I have some chests here for storage. Okay, I'm going to put some signs up to claim each bed, but I'm not sure. might put it there or against the wall. And here's a back door. Which I have created a fence around the entire area here just to prevent creepers from moseying on into this lot here. And I think for the most part I have it all lit up properly, so... We don't have to worry about monsters spawning, I hope. But we're not sure. What's going on with that tree there? Hmm. I think there might have been a tree there, but I'm not sure. But I've been having some problems with people coming onto my server that I did not invite. In fact, here we go right here somebody had chopped down a tree to make a workbench and probably some other tools because I'm missing some iron and they made this structure I don't know what for but I dug down and it goes pretty deep and then it's all filled with cobblestone and a cobblestone shaft it's, so I'm assuming that whoever has been on the server made that using the items they dug up from underneath which, if they ever go back, I left them a little surprise. At the bottom, I placed a TNT block with a pressure plate. And if they were to dig down, I left a space of cobblestone I removed. So when they fall down, they'll land on top of the TNT, setting it off and giving them a pretty bad day. <laughs> But I discovered whitelisting, so once I have an approved list put together, I'll enable it, so I won't have that problem again. So, here is a starter excavation I did just to make a headquarters. Luster Mining Co. Luster Bithia Mining Co. Headquarters. Made some couches, some chairs, nice, a nice little fireplace with lava, which can also be used as a disposal, which is my attention. And I think I'm missing a painting. I think I had one over here because I had one on this side and this side. It's gone now. I think whoever's been griefing my server did that and here is the community vault I created we have a wall of furnaces looks pretty neat with a crafting bench in the center and on the floor which is a good way to put your chest and other items to make more room I don't have anything in there these chests right here are all for coal, which there are none. Somebody stole my coal. I know I had some in there. None of these furnaces are being used. Hmm. I don't know I didn't take it out of there. Just another thing, I guess. And in these chests, I had iron. I had iron ore, iron ingot, and iron block just to show what can be made, but they took that. I'm going to check the logs later and see who's been on here recently. And sand. These boxes for sand and sun, sand items. And here I have cobblestone. A lot of cobblestone. And all these other chests are basically the same. Put in whatever. You can organize it yourself or just use it for storage of items you don't need or 
have an excess of. I used glowstone to light this area up. It's pretty neat. Glowstone chandeliers. Okay. Let's proceed. Here. It's a staircase leading up. And in the future, I'm planning on excavating this area here and making a mine shaft to the bottom. A staircase. A, a staircase to the bottom. And marking off in levels if I could figure out how to do that. And making our first mine right here. Which I think would be pretty neat. Okay, let's go upstairs.